Bienvenidos, mi amo Mateo. <laughs> I'm Tim. It's my brother Matt, and we're MrMaple.com, mail order company out of Western North Carolina that ships directly to your door. We do over a thousand different varieties of Japanese maples. So go to MrMaple.com and check us out. Hey, today we're back in Maplewood Gardens with an awesome tree that we actually named here at Mr. Maple. Today we're going to be talking about Acer Palmatum Cupid. This is a tree from our Area 51 collection at MrMaple.com. If you want to figure out when a lot of these trees are becoming available on Mr. Maple, go to Mr. Maple, sign up for our weekly email. We had 10 new trees every single Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's an email that goes out that you'll definitely want to be a part of. So we have a video on what is a witch's broom. I think it's a great explanation, especially with Japanese maples. So definitely have a, if you have a second, check that one out. It, it really helps, I think, identify what a witch's broom looks like in a Japanese maple out of leaf. And it can kind of give you a better understanding of that whole process of what a witch's broom Japanese maple is. But the brief of it is they're a genetic mutation that has a small compact habit. Typically you found they almost look like a squirrel's nest in a tree. Now, we were going to dinner one day and uh, we were driving down through Tryon and Tim said, look at that broom and that Sangu Kaku. So we pulled over, identified this broom in this tree. It was actually around Valentine's Day. And so hence the name Acer Palmatum Cupid. And we took some cuttings, we got permission, took some cuttings and grafted it. And now we've got this dense dwarf coral bark selection that's gonna be much slower growing than your typical Sangu Kaku. Cupid is actually a tree that'll end up getting about six to eight foot in 10 years. and really gives you some nice yellows to even get some accents of orange to it on the tips in the fall. Yeah, this one's really noted for having that bright red bark. That's really what it's famous for. So think of everything you like in Sangu Kaku, but in a much smaller package. And uh, Cupid just kind of has a play on that bark color with that bright, bright red. And being a more small, rounded tree, it kind of has that cherub-like feel to it. It's a little denser, a little rounder, and just a really nice, compact Japanese maple. Now, this is going to be an excellent tree for zones 6 through 9. So we do recommend this one 6 through 9, and a little protection from the hot afternoon sun, especially in that zone 9. So you want to give more shade in zone 9. Uh, typically, zone 6 through zone 8, this one is excellent for full sun. Now, sunlight actually will peak up the bark color on this plant, and the bark color peaks up more and more during those winter months. So that's really when you're gonna get the, the brightest red on the bark is during the winter months on Acer Palmetum Cupid. Now, this is an excellent tree, being that it's in that dwarf size, to be a coral bark to grow in a container. Often people wanna grow a Sengu Kaku, which can be a little bit faster growing uh, in a container. This is gonna be one that's gonna be a little more manageable and easier to grow because it already has that shorter, denser habit to it. So just make sure you give it plenty of good drainage when you're putting any Japanese maples in containers. And if you're leaving them outside, remember, uh, that takes bumps them to a higher zone. So you're gonna be in a zone, a seven through nine probably in container versus a six through nine uh, in the ground. So when Tim and I are driving along the roads, we're the tree geekiest of tree geekiest. We're always looking out the window for witches brooms. Heaven forbid I find a broom and Tim's driving because we're probably gonna get in a wreck because the rest of the road, he's gonna be just like looking around, not paying any attention, especially if I already found one that day. I'm like, just pull over and let me drive. I know I've already found one broom. There's no chance that you're not gonna be looking at the road. And we're driving down the road and Tim was like, hey, did you see that dense cluster in that, that old coral bark? So uh, we immediately did a U-turn, came back, got out, started checking it out. And we're like, hey, this, th this has a really nice density to it right here in the middle. It was actually, um, you know, getting, we actually looked at it during multiple seasons. And in one season, it had a little bit different fall color going on there. So we could identify, oftentimes brooms will start to change color a little bit before the rest of the tree. And so it was really easy to see during that time frame. Uh, it took us a little bit of time, but eventually we found the owners and obtained permission to go and get some cuttings from this. And that's how Acer Palmatum Cupid came about. And if you find a witch's broom, send us some photos to mrmaplequestions at gmail.com, especially on a Japanese maple. They're not very common on Japanese maples. We'd definitely be interested in seeing those. Sometimes that's how trees get introduced is some of our customers find the trees and uh, basically can send us cuttings and then we can produce from there. Yeah, it's typically on older, more mature trees. Uh, definitely check out that video I mentioned earlier on what is a witch's broom. Um, an excellent way to see what's going on there. But we hope you like this deeper look at Acer Palmatum Cupid. And we hope you like this tree too. It's, a, it's our attempt at a really nice, compact, dense, Sangu Kaku form. Uh, we think it really adds something for that smaller overall habit. And uh, you know, everything you like about Sangu Kaku, but in a smaller package. 
Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like Jappy's Maple content, comment in the comment section below, get involved in our Mr. Maple Friends group on Facebook, and always sign up for our weekly emails on mrmaple.com because we've got a bunch of cool, neat trees coming out every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Hey, if you don't see Cupid currently available on Mr. Maple, don't worry, we're always adding new plants like Tim just said. There's 10 new plants every Tuesday, often 20 new plants every Tuesday. So go and put uh, notify me on the Cupid page. You can put your email in right there and we'll send you an email as soon as Cupid's back in stock. Thanks for watching. Take care. And God bless.